All right, hey, I appreciate you guys clicking on this video here, support the channel. Let's go ahead and get into the story here. So, bought this property about six years ago, did a ton of work to the place, completely cleaned it up, um, went through, graveled the driveway, uh, just a full-on flip-out repair of the whole entire place. For the first three years, everything went smooth. We had absolutely zero problems. Um, started getting comfortable down there, leaving tools in the shed, um, no problem. So we had everything we needed down there if we had to make repairs. Then we started noticing some vehicles pulling in the driveway. We didn't have a gate up at that time, so there was um, two or three different vehicles um, that we noticed pulling in the driveway. So we threw up a bunch of cameras. Uh, so then we had our first break-in. Um, as you can see from the pictures, they knocked our window out, the side window, and was able to pop the screen, reach around, jimmy the door, um, get the door open. But as you can tell, they tried to pry it open first, it looks like, before they busted the window out. Went in the camper, completely ransacked it, went through everything. Um, same with the sheds. They ripped the uh, door off, the locks off, completely went through the shed, cleaned everything out. Anything that had value down there, they got. So this video footage here, I've actually held on to for quite a while since uh, last year um, as you're going to see there's snow on the ground i had the sheriffs come out they took a report um, gathered up evidence and that was pretty much about the last that i uh i heard from them i followed up a few weeks later this was all during covid and i kept getting the excuse that covid was going on it was slowing everything down and then i just stopped getting the return phone calls when i left messages and trying to reach out so it went absolutely nowhere. Um, so yeah, I decided, hey, I'm gonna put this footage out there for you guys to see, and maybe it'll help somebody else out. We're gonna go ahead and roll this video here. I'm gonna put it in slow motion here so we can talk about it. So as you can see, he's kind of creeping up here to the door. Um, he kind of goes past the door and kind of looks, I'm assuming to make sure there's no vehicles or anything on down the driveway. Um, goes up there, gives the old handle a pull. Obviously the door's locked. Um, then he goes over to where you can see the window I have taped to where uh, it was broke out before. Um, starts peeling on that tape. Um, that must have evidently took too long uh, because then next thing you know he tries to actually pry the uh, window open. Which he does get it open enough to put his arm through there. And I have put the screen back in there at this time. So you can see there he actually pops that screen out of the way, reaches around there to the door handle, and he's able to get that, uh, that door unlatched. Okay, so by, by now at this point here, we were smart enough not to leave really anything of any true value in the camper there so um, the video you can see him coming out on the slow-mo it as well you can see he's running with something coming out the door and that would actually be an old 10 year old heater that we had in there electric heater um, that he helped himself to and there he goes running back down the driveway all right guys so after that uh, that break in there of getting the video um, set everything back up uh, camera wise fixed the window um, retaped it I guess I should say and headed back up north and ended up coming back down two weeks later and this is what we found unfortunately the uh, the batteries were just too cold evidently didn't get any recording of it but this is what um, I walked into all right hey we just got back down to the property pulled in the driveway here it's all ice got the car stuck that's gonna be fun but 
come down here to do a few things. We'll talk about that here soon. But as you can see, our thief's been back. He uh, pulled up the tape there, and I've already actually went in the camper, and look, he left something this time. Left his knife. So, as soon as I get out of here, I'm going to go call the sheriff, see if he can come down. I really hope they're going to fingerprint this knife, because that's all, uh, all we need to catch this guy. And I believe I know who it is, and I believe he's already in the court system, and he should already have his fingerprints on file, so... All they got to do is get a print from that and be pretty simple to match up. So let's, uh, let's hope they, uh, they go the extra mile for me and get that thing fingerprinted and we can get this guy. So stay tuned. Stay tuned. All right, I'm going to finish, uh, finish up this video with this. I wish I could tell you that the sheriff department um, did their job, ran his fingerprints um, on this knife like they said they would when they came out. Came out, he put his rubber gloves on, got his bag, took the knife, um, did all that, said it was going to be ran to contact him, and I contact him numerous times. Um, spoke with the secretary, left multiple messages, and um, the only time I got somebody to call me back was that they were so backed up with COVID that it basically didn't have time to, uh, to handle this. So, And that was the end of it. That was the last call I got. So I'm putting all this out to you guys. Maybe you guys know some um, information, but um, if not... I appreciate you guys watching the video anyways, and I will see you on the next one. Thanks.